Hello YouTube, it's Mackenzie. Today I'm gonna do a quick little get ready with me. Oh, I hope my camera's in focus. So today is my very first day filming with my new camera, and I'm gonna try not to look at the viewfinder, because I've never had a one with a flip out viewfinder before, but <sighs> at least I know that I'm in the shot. Today will just be kind of an everyday makeup kind of thing, not too, not too complicated or anything. So I'm going to start off mixing this little illuminating highlighting cream with um, some moisturizer and just applying that all over the face. How have you guys been? I know there's a few people that have come up to me and said they watch my videos, people that I know in real life, so if there's any of you watching, hello, 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 I'm hoping this won't be too crazy. Maybe I'll just apply this to like the places where I usually put highlighter. Oh, I've got a mirror right here. I should use a mirror, that's a good idea. Oh, that's not too bad. Once I get into better lighting, it's always like you suddenly see all the mistakes you made with your makeup, like where you forgot to blend and stuff like that. And it looks different in every lighting. So hopefully this will be fine. I'm in this weird stage of my skin where it's really dry but also breaking out a ton and I'm not, not into it. Now I don't usually put foundation on every day. Um, I don't even wear makeup every day. I wear makeup probably once a week. So when I do wear makeup, it's usually just concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. See it? And under the eyes, for sure. That's a place that I definitely need concealer. And then just kind of any breakouts, pretty much. And I'll just blend some of this out with a beauty blender. Now I'm just going over any parts that need a little extra, and I'll just blend them out with my finger. I know I look super, super pale in the camera right now, but I don't know how to fix that. I haven't figured out all the ins and outs of this camera yet. I'm still like, what do all these buttons do? But I'll get the hang of it eventually. Just a lot of Googling. Oh, okay. I figured out how to turn on the autofocus. Oh, that looks better. Okay, and now my battery's dying, so we'll just have to go charge that and come back. Okay, we're back. I charged the battery. Uh, off camera, I set my I set my under eyes with this Rimmel Stay Matte powder and this cheap little beauty blender. I like that it's pointy because you can really get in there. Um, and then I just kind of set any places where I put concealer or just really wanted to stay put. The foundation and stuff usually takes me the longest. Um, everything else is pretty fast. So next we're gonna do brows. My brow routine is super fast and it stayed the same forever. I use the Bodyography Brow Trio thing and just a normal angled brush. And I usually mix the um, light color and then the darkest color together. And I just fill in my eyebrows. I don't go for a super defined look, especially for every day. Ugh, don't you hate when you get zits in just the most inconvenient places? Like I have one right there. Whoa, how long have I not been focused for? Right there. That is so annoying. Why? I don't think I'll do eyeshadow today. I think I'll just put some translucent powder over my eyelids and call it good. Something I've been doing a ton lately is I'll use my lip color for also my blush color because it's just so much faster. So I've been using this Lancome, um, and I always forget what these are called, Juicy Shaker in the color Cherry Symphony. Everyone always thinks that this is a nail polish and then I just take out a nail polish and put it on my face, but I don't. So I just put this on my lips 
mostly in the center. And then I take two fingers, do this, make sure there's not too much on my fingers. And then I just pat it on my cheeks. And it gives a nice little flush of color. And it ties together with the lip color really well. Do a little bit on my nose too. And I think this color is really cute on the face and it gives it a little bit of a dewy finish because it's like a not a matte formula so I'll just do mascara and be right back I did my mascara if you're wondering I used the it cosmetics superhero mascara I'll talk about this more in my Ulta haul update video which will be filmed pretty soon I'm just gonna finish off with some more highlight uh, I didn't bring my highlighter brush over here, so I'll just use my fingers. I just put it up here, up here. I'm using the same highlighter that I always use. It's an Ofra, Ofra one. Put it in the inner corners. And brow bone, kind of around it. For the nose, Cupid's bow. All right, I think that's it. Um, hope I didn't forget anything. I'm gonna head out and my battery is going to die. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you can subscribe and press the like button and leave me a comment telling me how pretty I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!